AI2, the revolutionary new album from Paradise Decay, is available now on Bandcamp. But why not purchase the album on a limited edition USB drive? Contact Paradise Decay on X, or alternatively, leave a message in the comments if you're interested. Do it! Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. I made a video a few days ago of me in the gym with a Quest 3. I played a mixed reality game called Thrill of the Fight. That was two days ago. I'm back at the gym. I'm really aching from that session. I had a really good boxing session and I can still feel my muscles aching today. I've had a lot of new subscribers recently with the launch of the Quest 3 and some people have been asking me why would you use the Quest 3 at the gym and not at home? The simple reason is I'm going to the gym anyway. I like to use the weights. And for me, instead of doing like cardio on the bikes, the row machines, the running machines, I can spend 20 to 30 minutes in a Quest 3 having a really good cardio workout in VR fitness applications. It's a lot more fun to be doing things in VR than sat on like on a bike for 20 minutes or a row machine for 20 minutes. Doing VR fitness in a VR headset, the time just flies by. In my last video, I showed you some footage of me playing Les Mills Body Combat in the Quest 3. Within minutes of me getting home, the application now has mixed reality. So I'm back at the gym today, and again, I'm going to jump in into Les Mills Body Combat, but this time in mixed reality. And this is going to be a game changer for me. Now, when I've been coming to the gym, I've been using the the Quest Pro and if you look at the uh, form factor of the Quest Pro when that's on my head there's no like uh, faceplate hiding out all the light so on the Quest Pro it was handy for me to be able to see people around me so I could be playing like Les Mills Body Combat and if anybody came towards me in my field of view I would be able to see them first on the Quest Pro now playing this game in mixed reality on the Quest 3, I'm going to be able to look around me anyway. So this is going to be a really interesting experience today. Like I said, I'm still recovering from my Wednesday session, so this is going to be quite a challenge for me today. My muscles are aching. And you don't realize that when you're doing like boxing simulators in VR, you work out muscles you did not even know you had. So my routine at the gym is I tend to do like 20, 30 minutes cardio, on the running machines and then I spend 30 minutes um, lifting weights. I don't have the capacity to do the workout with the weights at home, that's why I like to use the gym. It's got a variety of different weights that can work out all my muscles. So it's a no-brainer that I'm coming here to do cardio, so why not make the boy in cardio some of the fun times you can have at the gym. Some people have asked me if the mirrors in the gym affect the tracking. That's something I had no problems with when I played two days ago upstairs in the studio and I was in front of a big giant mirror. Now today, there's normally two spots I like to train when I do VR boxing. One of those spots I can see in front of me, it's in the, uh, the window. So that window there is where I normally like to train. And the back left wall is where there's a mirror. And the second place I like to train, if nobody's in the studio upstairs, I have to make sure there's no courses on I have tried the studio with the Quest Pro and the Quest 3 and I've had no problems really with the mirror. Today that's something I'm going to be looking into a bit more. Sadly I can't talk to you guys when I'm in the gym because the music's so loud so I'm going to leave my commentary here. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you've got any questions, if there's anything you want to see me do uh, fitness wise in the headset let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the video, please leave a like and subscribe, be sure to my little bell, I'll see you in the next one.
can do them. You can do them like that. I got you and you got your gloves up. We are ready to go. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're going to be starting with the slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range, soft elbow. One more. Okay, see the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right, now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go. Left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move. Left uppercut and hold. Now the right. Back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind, it feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're gonna do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again, ready? Now, bang. You're gonna wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top, squeeze the controller. We're gonna go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll, let's get the core in. We're gonna hit the triple shot. Right, left, right, bang, three, two, one, go. Nice, and again. We say sit on the punch, that means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm. Right arm, stick with that tempo. Roll in the shoulders. Picking up the tempo, here it comes. A little quicker, go. Rolling, rolling, driving, bend your knees. 
Gotta get in the swing of things. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. So let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Wait, wait, wait. And then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. Ah, oh, big move, eh? You clicked on to kill a Cyclops training. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you're ready for it. Front stands. There's a target coming. Don't miss the first one. Just saying. Just saying. Don't miss the first one. Where is it? Left side. Left side. Left side. Go, go, go. Well done. All right, now, where's it coming? Bottom right. Bottom right. Yep. Top right. Now, bottom left. So we're using one hand to punch opposing sides of the room. Bend your knees, rotate the shoulder, drive down. It's called a downward punch. You've got a hammer to the top corner. Now use your core. A little bit faster, watch this. Up and down. Oy. One smash to the corner, and one drive down into the floor. So you're going to bend your knees, and your lower body's going to feel like it's in a soft lunge. So imagine you're dominating the arena, and you're driving that punch down into the ground like the superheroes do. Like the superheroes do? Yeah, like the superheroes do! Feel a stretch in your chest. Feel a little bit of heat in the legs if you got it right. And feel some cardio effect. Getting your hands over your head really brings that cardio. Practice over, people. Left foot forward. Let's see what you got. Four power jabs. Left side. Now up and down. Left side. Twice. Back to the power jabs. Man, that feels good, doesn't it? It feels good, but it doesn't look so good right now. Can you, like, lift your elbow a little? Yes, lift your... Now you're talking. Get that knuckle right in the middle of the target. Now shift your body weight forwards and back. Lean into that jab. Lean in, lean in. Not lean back. Lean in. Now lean in. Push off that back foot. That's it. I know heart rate. Hey, heart rate. Whoosh. All right, we're going to do that again. Rachel was the hero. I don't mind being the villain. I don't mind being the person that's going to push you. I don't mind being the person that's going to challenge you. Come on. Now this target. Top right. Yeah, where is it? Come on. Turn hip, shoulder. Now. Boom. You've even got to release your heel. Try that. Look at it. Look at it. Release heel turn and whip. Excellent. So let's spend a little bit of time on this side now, trying to get some full range. We want to maximize muscle usage. We want to pin in the shoulders, the back, the legs, the core. Don't settle for anything less than your very best. Come on, I'm not here to wrap you up in cotton wool. I'm here to push you. You put your right leg forward. Now the jabs. Oh yeah. Come on, take it out on the targets. Take your frustration out on the targets. We never keep anything built up on the inside, in life. Let's not let that happen. Let's not be that person. Come on. That's why we do something like this. We externalize the force outwards. Yeah. And so by the time we finish this, we're going to feel really great about ourselves and about our environment. Come on. Now lean into the strike. That's how you're going to get more weight behind every single punch. Great. So now we're going to continue that alignment, continue the range, come into a nice wide front stance. We're going to be alternating these targets. You know what to do. Just hit the center of them. Good. You got that one. Yep. You got that one. I'm looking at your combo score right now. Oh, yep. See, you're not missing. You're dialed in. You're focused. You're a winner. Yes. Dig deep now. Come on. Just you and the rhythm of the music. Things are about to get faster. Ray says, put on your superhero outfit. I say, wear any outfit. 
Ready for the triple shot? Go! Three, two, same arm, same side. Now switch it. Now switch it. Left side. That's an up down. All around kind of workout. We're going big with intensity. And there's something about standing your ground and going three times in a row that feels really dominant. Boom! Bend your knees. Come on, reach up. Get on your toes. If you're short like me. Well done. Smashed it. Is this it? Is this where you step up? I think it is. Let's go. Welcome to the party. Okay, come into front stand, spin your knees. We're gonna start with the left knee. Grab left knee. Now grab again and right knee. Boom. Bend your knees, get your strength, grab, left knee. Needs a bit of balance, yep. Drive the knee forward, bring the heel to the butt. One more slow. We're gonna pick up the tempo, cause we like to, we like to, left knee, right knee. How are we gonna do it? Do it like that. Do it like you want. We're here for a while, we've got 16 reps, there's four down. Do it like that, do it like that. As you do start like to do that, the same do like move that. over and over, you start to feel those muscles really work. So you can feel through your core, especially if you drive that knee nice and high and slam your fist on the outside of your thighs. Nice work, good job. Okay, breathe, check it out. We've got a new move, front stance, double left jab. When? Now. Bang, bang. Now the right hand. Bang, bang. Left hand. Right hand. Feels good to throw two punches in quick succession. What do we like to do? A combo. We've got four single jabs. Left, right, four times. Now double left. Double right. Four singles. Ooh, yeah. Double left, double right. Singles. Doubles. Man, I sound like I'm at a tennis match. How are we going to do it? Pump it up. We're not just pumping it up, we're pushing. We're driving. But this will give you a great shoulder pump. It's that constant repetition. Sitting in the flow. Hit that. Last one. Time. Break. Shake. Pump it up if you want to. Let's go for the knees again. Left knee. Right knee. Left knee. Right knee. How about we put this all together for a great party? Two knees. Get ready for this one. Single jab. Left, right. Four. Double left. Double right. Incoming knee. Left side. Woo! That was quick. Right knee. Single jabs. Double left, double right. Single left knee. Okay, now you've got your head around this combo. Wrap your hips around the punches. Last combo. Singles. Doubles. Time. Did you hit it? Now you know what we're doing. That's your combo. We're going to hit that block again. Starting with single knees, just only. Left, right, go. This is your celebration round. You know what's coming. You're prepared. Get inside that beat. Get ready to what? Two knees. Left, right. Single jabs. Double jabs. You got the combo. Oh, now you're cruising, eh? Now you're cruising. Doing it like what? I'm seeing you pumped up. Hit it right in the middle. Go for power. 
Go for speed on the doubles. Land fast. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. We have more than hit that and we've more than done it like that. We did it good. Let's rock. Time. Want an opportunity to dig deep? Well, this is it. Short repetitions, lots of different strikes. Left leg forward, we're gonna hit jab cross. Four, three, two, one. Now above your shoulder, then squat down low. So it's a slightly different target, that jab. And then bend your knees, get down nice and low, brace your abs. Okay, hold. Front wide stance, new move. Hammer fist, they're coming down. We're gonna go four reps, three reps. Now lift your heels, reach above your head. I love that move. So you've got big square shoulders, hips are square. Yep, come on, this is a strong move. Change your stance up again. We're mixing it up, I told you. We're gonna hit a left hook, a right hook, and now a quick, quick, big power strike. Right side, left side. So we rotate the shoulders, the hips and the heels. Come on, commit to this one. Dig deep. We're gonna mix up the target again, it's changing. We got uppercut, uppercut, and then straight above the line of the shoulder. Now we already did these strikes earlier, right? Keep your chin down, but your eyes up. So just notice the alignment of your movement. Now we're gonna hit just the jab cross down the middle. Basic jab cross, quick, quick. There's 24 total reps. Come on, hit the middle of the target. Oh yeah, I'm making it rain. It's pouring. That's right, the storm's coming. And what I mean by storm, I mean Rachel. <laughs> right foot forward. How we going? Tap the head, now hit the body real hard. See what that is? That's just to take your opponent's hands up and then they miss the body shot, which is the knockout. Take them out, take them out. Hey! On stands, well done, you got it. Hammer time. Bend your knees around, drive up through the roof. Dig so hard you end up in New Zealand. Oh, kia ora. Nice to see you. Right foot forward, combat stands. Hooks. Heavy. Now, triple shot. It's a great triple shot move, because if you start swinging three hooks, there's no way out of that without making contact somehow. The only problem you've got is trying to keep throwing them. That hard, that heavy. New target. Uppercut. Up high. So you want to train for someone just a little bit taller than you. Actually, it's really good because it's great shoulder training. All right, here we go. 24. Straight down the line. Repetition. There's results. Let's recognize the point system. Look at your points. Going up, going up, going. All I do is win, win, win. No matter what. Real talk, people. How we going? Oh, what we doing? We're going up, up and down. That's right. More legs. No, right. No. Hey, Dan told you there was a storm coming. No one can do it but you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't use your body. Use your legs. That's it. That's it. Come on, stop cheating now. There's only a couple more left. I promise we're almost out of here. Make it count. Big hole. All right, this one's all about coordination and crossing the center line of the body. So start in front stance, and let's get the breathing under control. Inhale, exhale, T-punch. Out in front, up top, left arm, left bottom. There we go. So that's what I'm talking about. We're here for about 40 seconds, and we're going to train this one combination. Get your breath right. Use your legs. Notice how.
how you take your hand up high and then hold it there, hold it there, drop down with your downward punch. Feel the power generated through the body and then out through the legs, out through the fist. Like you possess the power, straight punches. Down the front, well done. So we played with it for 40 seconds. You might see it later. Copy that? All right, let's go. Woke up feeling what? Down low. Out front, left right. I'm a buster move. There's some moves coming your way. Three punches down up. Overhead, slip left. Uppercut. Flex the torso to the left, slip left, and now slip right. So bend your knees, stand your ground, but drop your shoulders out of the way. Okay, incoming knee on the angle. Left knee. So now we're turning that knee into power through the core. Three more, two more. Well done. Down low, go. Straight in front, double punch. Push me up, push me up, go on. W. Squeeze your shoulder blades and thrust your weight forward. Inhale, spill the tea. So we've seen this before. A couple of slow ones, hold it up, hold it up, drive it down low. Like you're telegraphing that punch. Keep it up high. All right, training over, let's apply. You got fast. Are you keeping your hand up? Are you bending your knees, crossing the body? Getting faster. Sometimes you're gonna fail. Sometimes you're gonna miss it. But it's how we learn. Breathing is really important. That's why he's telling you to breathe. He's like, you're gonna need to breathe, people. Exhale. Bring in the cardio. Through the power. Through the punch. Down low. Go, well done, you did it, you did it. You didn't wake up feeling good, you worked out. Now you feel good. I'm a bust and move. Slip left. Flexing that torso. We're coming up to the halfway point. Oi, love the side. Get that uppercut to drive right up in front of you. We're gonna cut the numbers. Two. Switch. This is the best one, singles. Let those shoulders roll like a sausage roll or a dash hand. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's carry on that coordination. Jabs, one on the right, one on the left. Now they're slow, but they're heavy yet, so really make the circle big. Now look at the targets. Punch down, down, down. They're straight jabs. Now straight jabs in front of you. They're still straight jabs, but above the line of the shoulder. Full range, come on. Double punch down. Center, sky, slip to your right uppercut. Now, get your shoulders out the way of the wall. Yep. Brace your abs, bend your knees. Take a look, corner striking with the knee. So grab up to the left, bring the target down towards your right. So you grab, pull, lift, knee. Grab, pull, lift, knee. Got the rhythm, beautiful. Target punches down, straight punches down. Center. Sky punch up. I love that beat. And a T strike. Double punch. Top right, bottom left. Now you've got this. One tip I'll give you is when you hit the corner punch, Hold the fist up there for a couple of seconds and then cross the line of the body from the shoulder down past the rib cage towards the opposite knee. Now that's going to engage more muscles of the obliques, the shoulders and the back. Your heart rate's up. Can you hear the music? It's incrementally getting faster. Come on, are you flexing? I'm flexing. Like seriously, I'm looking at my own biceps. Anybody got a number two good veterinarian? Why? Because these puppies are sick. <laughs> Down punches. Straight punches. Sometimes you've got to crack a joke. Upstairs. Come on. Here it comes. Down, middle, sky. Slip to your right. Uppercut. Awesome. 
Now really, you've got to get those shoulders out of the way. Slip left. The more the shoulders are out of the way, the more you're going to clear the line of the wall, the quicker you'll get those combos going up. And in turn, the more you'll start training the muscles of your core. Flex to the end. Drive up to that middle line. Big circle to finish. Now smash the ball. Smash the ball! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? It's funny, as I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him. <laughs> And Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, but I actually just went. I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it, Nathy. <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. that rose. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. By the <laughs> 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 Might want to um, break there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sore now. Yeah, I gotta say, he's, <laughs> he's, really? his eyes have been yeah, fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the, that's oh, off track. Bully. PD, I saw I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> that's why it was that's perfect. He, so he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. It's over, man. Jack. It's over. <laughs> so yeah, PD's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>